Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hi, welcome to my Monday weekly analysis, usually my Sunday analysis, but I'm actually doing it today on a Monday morning. It's the 30th of August. Guys, we are almost done with the month. It's been an awesome trading month. Um, so far, so good. And really looking forward to yet another fantastic trading week. Last week was a bit dicey, though. Um, I'll confess, um, we had so much going on in the news Um you know, with the news, we had the Jackson Hole Symposium, we had COVID vaccine news, um, you know, Delta variant news, related news, um, you know, and just a lot of, um, you know, then we had some, you know, some terror attacks in, in by the Taliban. So it was quite an interesting week. And I found myself just greeting my teeth together because I was like, dang, you know, we kept on getting stopped out. There were so many, you know, like, I mean, we just look at, look at this move that happened last week um, on Friday. Okay. Um, on gold, for example, I mean, this is how the market was um, last week. If you even look at it from like pretty, pretty choppy, if you look at the lower time frames, you could see there was a lot of, you know, just weird things happening in the market um <clears throat> and so across different pairs um, not just with gold you know so i'm just looking at it now and i'm hoping that we have a better trading week although we did average 84 percent um on our in our trading in our trading signals group so it was still pretty a good week but we had just this one day on wednesday that really caught us off guard and we had an interesting day but that being said i'm excited about today um you know just let me look at and i always like looking at gold i always like to start analyzing the week by looking at gold why i look at gold is because it's the pair i trade the most um yeah so as i was saying <clears throat> i like to look at gold because it's one of the 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 trades the pairs that i trade the most so technically, when I look at it on the weekly, um, what I'm seeing is gold has been on an up thrust. Is it an up thrust, an uptrend, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's been bullish um, relatively. And then we find that um, we, we, after this continued, you know, from like 23rd of March to like, of August, we've been rallying to the upside, and then now we began to retrace back, retesting previous levels of structure. Now, as of last week, we kind of did retest, a, uh, attempt to take out previous uh, levels of structure below here. We see that gold actually did hit the 16. Was it last week? Actually, it wasn't last week. Beginning of August, it um, got to the previous level of 1674 this is on the weekly though so i'm just looking at it on the weekly not, not that you know it, it may be relevant for trading like right now but if i look at it from a long perspective this is what happened so this basically is a very strong level of structure and then what we saw happening last week was that you know from then we've been bullish we've just been pushing up and despite the you know, if you look at the daily, of course, you'll see it a bit different because there's there's a lot of um, uh, consolidation happening last week. Um, you know, then we ended on our, on Friday, the Friday with a really strong uh, bullish move. So my take is we may attempt to continue pushing up. Okay, we have some, we still have some levels of liquidity up here that we, we may want to take out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, but we, if you look at it on the weekly, we are kind of in a ranging, you know, we're in a sideways, you know, move. So, my anticipation is we may try to attempt to take out the 1915 level, okay? Um, or we may just reject at the 1835 and continue to, uh, the, and push lower and continue to consolidate but we are technically in a range, yeah? Um, so when, when, let me look at the daily. Uh, 
let me look at the daily. Um, when I look at the daily, so you can see we've, been, we've just been scaling lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. So really pushing price lower. So we may continue to just see that happening. Um, I won't be surprised if gold attempts to, you know, pushes lower rather. I won't be surprised if gold pushes lower. Um, there's that possibility because really that's what's been happening long term. We, uh, I mean, the, we failed to break this high last week. Okay, the 1833 um, level. So I wouldn't be surprised if we did attempt to, you know, take out um, this level here, 1773. We may actually push lower to 1773.49. So, and then, and then, so possibly push lower and then maybe push up. Yeah, that's, that's basically what I'm looking at. So um, let me look at the, uh, the one hour, one hour. Yeah, so we we may attempt to take out the highs, like I said, but I feel like there's potential for us to also just retest these previous levels of structure, okay? Um, I think we will retest them, whether we, it happens um, towards the end of the week or right now. Um, generally, but like I said, we are still in this sideways um, kind of structure, yeah? So... Right now, it looks like we are trying to push up, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything until uh, you know, I see what happens at these zones, 1833, and then um, I'll be able to know if we're actually going to break out, retest this zone, and then continue to the upside, or we'll just bounce off this level and then just drop, okay? So that's a possibility, either or. So right now, um, um, technically, we are in a, we're in a sideways, we are consolidating when it comes to gold. Um, there's no real clear direction. On lower time frames, you may see some potential um, uh, trend happening, but long term, on the daily, we are still consolidating. On the weekly, we are looking bullish, okay? That's my take on gold. But I'll probably uh, narrow down on this uh, towards a New York session. Um, and let me look at um, USDJPY. I'm just looking at yen USDJPY. I don't necessarily trade it, but I like to look at it. Um, so you can see, you know, yen, the yen pair here is just looking like the opposite of gold right now. Um, we've been bearish last week. We were bullish on gold. Right now on the yen, we are, we are bearish. So, you know, sometimes looking at a different pair may give me perspective about how gold is, 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 is moving and how the currencies may anticipate to move. So yeah, so right now we are, we are looking like we, we want to drop and just, you know, take out some liquidity down here. There's a lot of liquidity lying below here. So um, technically, this is a one hour though, yeah? So I am technically bearish on, on um, USD JPY. Okay, I'm bearish on USD JPY. Yeah, and we may retest the 109.110 at some, at some point, it's still a key level um, on the daily. Yeah, so what we're seeing on USD JPY is lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, but really right now on the daily, we're looking bearish. Okay, so I'm anticipating that we will retest the 109. 110 level, which is about 65 pips. We may even go to the 107.458 level, okay? That's about 227 pips. So we may see um, some bearish momentum on UJ, okay? Which then means that gold may continue to rise, okay? Um, but like I said, with gold, because of the amount of pips it moves in a day, 
um, th- those moves can happen in us. I mean, we, we can both move up and down in quick su- succession in a very short period of time, you know? Um, yeah, but with the USDJPI guys, we are definitely looking at dropping. GU is looking bullish right now when I look at it on the daily. Um, but yeah, we, we are looking kind of bullish. If we don't break this level of 1.3, let's see, 1.37765, then we may, <coughs> excuse me, push lower, but we are looking bullish on GU. Let me look at GBP, JPY, another yen pair. I mean, um, the only thing is right now, as if, you, if I'm to look at, if I'm to say anything about the direction of this, we've been pushing lower. So if anything, I'm bearish, I'm still bearish on um, GBP, GPY as well. We may push up, you know, take out liquidity up here. So I'm not necessarily saying that you're going to respect this trend line. No, um, I, I more so think all we would be doing is just taking out liquidity um, up here. You see this, you know, just push up and then continue to the downside. Let me just clear this. Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, we may push up and continue to the downside, but I'm, I'm technically, you see on the lower time frame, it even looks like we are consolidating, but I've, I'm, I'm bearish, you know, just looking at the daily um, trade, I mean, day, daily time frame, I feel like we need to push a bit lower. Yeah, so like I said, we'd we'll probably be targeting the 148, 457 level. So that's GJ. And then I look at Euro AUD, <coughs> excuse me, I have a bit of a dry throat. Euro AUD last week rallied, dropped. You know, I feel like we are bullish. Let me look at the daily. Yeah, I think I think we are um, bullish on Euro AUD. Okay. Yeah, we can see you know, this move here. So I think, yes, we rejected this high here, but I feel like this week we may push up um, and, you know, this week, I think that's that's what I'm looking at. Uh, for Euro AUD, Euro JPY, let's see. So we closed, very interesting. There was a bullish uh, engulfing on the weekly. Um, you know, so quite a strong um, um, response from the buyers looking to possibly break um, this level here. But I kind of feel like, you know, we may want to retest previous lows here and here. Yeah, we may want to retest previous lows. We may want to retest previous lows. Then there is um, GBP. Let me look at GBP card quickly, guys. Sorry, that was my, my phone. GBP, GBP card has just been consolidating, but I'm feeling like we are definitely bearish on GBP card, Euro cards. Okay, maybe uh, um, Euro card. I'm 50-50 on Eurocard, but looking bearish as well. Okay. Right now, as we speak, let me see. Um, so I've looked at Euro AUD, haven't I? Euro AUD. Actually, when I look at Euro AUD right now, we are looking bearish, kind of, yeah. Um, on the weekly, but like I said, on the daily, we may push up, but you know, I can see this rejection, there was some rejection happening up here, you know, um, and I feel we may, this is when this is, we haven't broken this high in a while. 
1st December 2020, then we were here again to in, in August, right? We failed to break this high. So I feel like we're just going to continue consolidating. Euro AUD is consolidating. Euro CAD um, is also consolidating. Um, so we may just see up, down, up, down movements for a while, no clear direction. So it's just a matter of catching the moves on the lower time frame. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just like, okay, even if we push up, we may consolidate for a while. And I think that's it. So let me look at US 30. US 30 is looking bullish. Okay. <laughs> US 30 is looking bullish. US 30 is looking bullish. So I think that's it for today, guys. I think that's it for today. Yeah. I hope this quick analysis has been of value. Um, in summary, the Euro card, the Euro pairs are looking bearish, in my opinion. GBP pairs are looking bearish. Gold is kind of 50-50 to me because gold tends to really rally um, um, a lot in any direction within even the same day. But I feel like Possibly today we may try to push up, okay, to these levels here across the 1833 levels, maybe even attempt to get to the 1840 um, levels, um, and then maybe push lower. We are looking bearish on gold, but I feel like there's that potential to push up, break structure, um, you know, grab some liquidity up here before we push lower. So guys, I hope this video has been of value. This recording has been of value. Um, and if yes, please comment in the, in the chat box. This week, we're having our free signals um, um, uh, session this entire week happening in my signals group. So if you guys have ever wanted to test out my signals, please just check out the link in the, uh, in the drop down. Uh, I mean, in the comment description box rather. And join our telegram group and this week guys just you know test our signals on demo or on live and hopefully you learn i'll hopefully also try and share some trade setups during the week for guys as well um, that they can actually just be monitoring and using for their own individual analysis so thank you guys for tuning in as always if this was your first time on my channel please like subscribe comment share and see you soon